In Parsha Bayikra, Parak Bet, Sukim Yud Aleph and Yud Gimel, it says, No meal offering that you offer to the Lord shall be made with leaven, for no leaven or honey may be made into smoke by fire to the Lord. You shall salt every meal offering. The verse in Parsha Bayikra states that one is not permitted to use honey in the meal offering and that it is an obligation to use salt for all the offerings. So one may ask, why are we obligated to bring salt as part of a sacrifice as opposed to honey? Even though honey and salt are both used for flavoring food, there is a fundamental difference between them. Honey itself is sweet, and when poured on food, it provides the food with a sweet taste. Salt, however, enhances flavor, pulling the flavor out of food and giving it a stronger taste. It can be added to something bland and make it flavorful. At first thought, one would think that honey, which makes things sweeter, would be something good to add to a sacrifice to God. We want our relationship with God to be sweet and not always strong like salt. The symbolism of the obligation to use salt on the offerings as opposed to honey teaches us that God wants every person to strengthen, nurture, and develop their own unique talents. Think of a good teacher. He doesn't merely put information into the student. Rather, he leads the student to think on his own, bring out his own inner thoughts, and helps the student develop what was already inside of him. If there is one letter in a Torah scroll that is touching another letter, then the scroll is pasul, invalid to be read from. So too, a Jew who casts away his own abilities and interests and follows the crowd to try and fit in is not living life to its fullest. He is somewhat invalid in his character. Everyone needs to serve God in their own unique way. Follow your own path, grow at your own rate, keep seeing the opportunities right in front of you and take advantage of them. Don't imitate others, rather locate qualities within yourself. Salt them and let them shine.